The world recently celebrated International Nurses Day. Tweets, messages, celebratory videos were all shared, all hailing the frontline workers. In Delhi, nurses were felicitated. Do you know what happened next? Nurses turned around and said, while rewarding them and awarding them is good, authorities should first pay them their salaries. Several nurses in India's capital city have not been paid for two to three months. And this is a story not unique to Delhi. It looks like the story may be the same elsewhere too, in other countries to do too. Tonight we have a report from the United Kingdom. Remember last year, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson was admitted to the ICU with COVID complications. The nurse who looked after him has now quit. This is after the Boris Johnson government proposed a 1% pay hike for NHS workers. Do you remember the NHS clap? Last year, Britain clapped for its nurses. On the 12th of May, the United Kingdom joined the world in celebrating nurses. Prime Minister Boris Johnson called them extraordinary. His government celebrated the nurses as heroes. But when it came to paying them, thanking the nurses for their selfless effort, Britain chose to give them a 1% pay hike. This video is from April 2020. Days after this clap was recorded, Boris Johnson had to be moved to ICU because of COVID-19 complications. A nurse named Jenny McGee was tasked with caring for the Prime Minister. Reports say that she was by Johnson's bedside as he fought the Wuhan virus. The Prime Minister thanked Jenny McGee in his message to the world post-recovery. I hope they won't mind if I mention in particular two nurses who stood by my bedside for 48 hours when things could have gone either way. They're Jenny from New Zealand, in the Cargill on the South Island to be exact, and Luis from Portugal near Porto. McGee was also invited to 10 Downing Street when the NHS marked 72 years. Jenny McGee has now quit her job. The government of Boris Johnson has proposed a 1% pay rise for McGee and the rest of the NHS staff. A petty 1% pay hike is Britain's gift to its nurses for helping the country fight the Wuhan virus, for nursing the UK back to health after the spread of a dangerous variant. Nurses' unions are calling this a kick in the teeth. It's disrespectful, says McGee. She has now taken up a job in the Caribbean. We are not getting the respect and now the pay that we deserve. I'm just sick of it, so I've handed in my resignation. Many may be following suit. A survey has shown that the nursing staff across the UK are unhappy with their pay. 36% are considering quitting the profession. In 2019, the number was 27%. Of them, 61% are citing pay. So how has the government reacted to all of this? A spokesperson said that the government is grateful for the care that the NHS has provided and so they have been exempted from the public sector wide pay freeze. That's wonderful. Getting the economy back on track while also filling the palace purse must be really tough. It's a royal problem most countries won't understand. What we do understand is that showing some gratitude is not that difficult. It also goes a long way. A 1% pay hike for frontline workers who have put their lives at stake to save others is downright insulting. The people of Britain may end up paying the price for the government's refusal to pay its nurses. Established nurses from the EU are already leaving the UK. There has been an 89% decline in the number of European Economic Area nurses applying to work in the United Kingdom. A 91% drop in the EU and EEA applicants to the Nursing and Midwifery Register, losing healthcare workers to the government's ingratitude. Well, that will be a first this pandemic. Bureau Report, we on World is One. We on is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.